Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back. My name is Linda Bukazi. And if you're new to this channel, hello. <laughs> Please do not forget to press that like and subscribe button. Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna be making cocktail oxtail outside. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that we're gonna be using. No, it's not a stove, it's a bar stand. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you everything, but we're gonna do it outside because it's current it's currently Ubnyama Awa, Lord Shady, you know South African vibes. So we're gonna make our oxtail using a bry stand, a guest bry stand outside. So you guys stay tuned. I am so thrilled to be actually doing this. So it's gonna be interesting. Officially ready. I'm done washing this thing, guys. Yo, it was hard. I had to take out the the, the jacket because a hey, being just a shame. I won't lie. So I think I have everything here. If I have to go back to the house, then. But game, yeah, I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, let me show you guys everything and then we're gonna take it from there. Okay, as I always say, I cannot be slow. So if you miss something, rewind, go back, or ask me down below on the comment section. <laughs> we tried to, to like clean this thing up, it's so greasy, I won't lie. But yeah, I feel like it looks a bit better now. So, first things first, let's on this baby. Let's chop first. Basically, everything that I'm gonna need the spices, the wine. Don't ask me about the gloss. <laughs> the sauces, I'm gonna need flour and cream and butter. Okay, let me add oil and then the veggies, the meats, <laughs> and then the pots. Good, now I'm just gonna place this here. Let's bring in this one to help this one. Y'all taste that guys, I need pause, no? Taste. Yeah, taste that guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put my potatoes inside. Okay, I'm gonna add my aromats. Okay. switch the parts because I'm gonna make a dumbbell dumbling <laughs> um, and the oxtail and then here I put my potatoes okay one spoon of butter okay, well, I've got lunch. okay. spoon of oil spoon of flour In my hands, I'm so sorry. This is how it's going. So far, just turn it around. This is how it's going. Woohoo! Lumina new wine. Best friends. Currently. I'm not trying to squeeze in everything inside, so now I'm gonna take them out, the meat out, put it back here. 
remember guys whenever you're making um whenever you're browning your meat never never ever overcrowd the pot with the meat so you want to do like different batches um in smaller portions you know like simplify a few and then add more you know don't do what i did okay of butter once again see teaspoon of oil you can put in your onions okay then i'm gonna add my red pepper my my red pepper and my tomato um as you can see the size is kind of biggish so use that size okay and then so of course guys sometimes you can you saute when you're sauteing your onions it's like literally you tossering <laughs> your onions there's nothing to it it's just a fancy word that we use in the kitchen sometimes but in sh okay time to play around the spices so i'm going in with my zesty lemon and herb first okay guys these spices from robertson are the best you should try them so this is for traditional bry mix so i think there's like a variety of spices mixed together so you don't want to add too much of that okay just maybe half a teaspoon no a teaspoon okay garlic flakes okay i'm gonna be using this curry powder it's flavorful and mild okay from raja also robinson spices this is paprika guys my favorite this this spice is really good guys especially for your chicken but i'm gonna add it look at that this potki seasoning is the best get tip especially if you're going to be cooking for something for like long hours okay it's the thing it's spice okay i'm currently very happy with the smell i'm here okay so now it's time for my wine okay guys with flour alone so i'm going to be using this one guys the wine doesn't have to be expensive the cheapest one if it's red and it's dry it works okay no mushroomy but if you have soy sauce definitely it's a yes yes I actually said no mushroomy because i do not know how to pronounce this name and there's a better one spoon flour Okay, so now I'm gonna put back my meat. I think it's six now. Electricity is back. My goodness. But so kubela, it's fine. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna add more wine. Okay. Yeah, since I've got cause I guys can't do it while it's holding the phone. So yeah. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I think I'm gonna add chutney and one spoon of this baby. Okay, my is getting rough outside, so I forgot to add this baby. So throw in, even if you have a can of tomatoes, use that. I'm gonna use the tomato paste on top of the tomatoes that I put in there, okay? Our progress, okay? I hope it's looking like this, guys. Please. <laughs> From all of that, this is the color you're supposed to see, okay? And then there's that nice, flavorful smell that you should be smelling in your kitchen right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> yes. Put this in. This is vegetable. This is a vegetable stock. The vegetable stock. And then hot water.
Okay, lovies. So now we're going to make the um, carrot um, salad, um, which I'm going to be using for the topping of my oxtail. I cut them into this shape because I just wanted to like a different shape, okay? Wash them and then add water and then put it on your stove. Yes, electricity is back. <laughs> so I also added like aromat. So after they're nice and soft, you're going to like add one teaspoon of oil and saute them and then add your chutney just a little bit guys not too much okay and then i added my pepper and then my parsley my fresh parsley to finish it off so guys now you're about to see my updated fluffy mash recipe that's one teaspoon or two teaspoons is of butter and then i added my added some fresh parsley and then added salt and pepper on your onions and then mix that together okay and then you're gonna add in your cream okay so <laughs> it's gonna make it extra creamy guys like trust me and then i added butter and then this sauce okay just as it is and then you mash it okay so it's supposed to look like this i'm telling you guys the taste is whew, out of the world. okay <laughs> trust me so i added fresh um parsley on top just to make it look nice and so guys for the dumplings um i used salt flour self-raising flour and then milk that's literally all i used if i'm not mistaken if i'm forgetting something i'll add it down below um and then yeah this is the consistency that i got you know it was one cup of flour actually so don't panic i only like made me okay guys so this is my stew so far so at this point it only has one hour to go okay until it's ready so the thing is with oxtail you need to cook it like for long hours could be three hours or four hours at slow heat okay do not attempt to use high heat because so at that time i think it was the best time to add my dumplings because they only take like 30 to 45 minutes so i was shaping them like the normal way my mom taught me how to but smaller version of it <laughs> but yeah and then i added all of them so this is how it looks after adding my dumplings so you want to close that for the next 30 to 45 minutes and yeah this was my final dish and i decided to go with mash obviously <laughs> okay ah, two okay yes two three go. <laughs> wait Isi bungu bungu zafela. Woo yeah! Kotu tando la vegetela.